So this is going to be a tutorial on the Sega Genesis emulator Gens. This is the emulator that uh, emulationcd.com uses in all our CDs and flash drives and uh, works pretty good, very smooth, uh, doesn't run into pretty much any problems that I've seen. So anyhow we're going to assume that you already installed it. Go ahead and see it open up in the little window and if you want to configure it for a controller, well you just go to Option, Joypads, and um, Player 1 will be the first uh, controller you have connected. We're going to assume you just have one. If you have a second one you can just make the same changes over here. We'll redefine the keys which tells the program what keys you're going to use for what uh, direction you're going or what button you're pushing. So it says input key for up right down here. So I'm going to push my controller up, then I'm going to do it down, left, right. I'm just going to follow along everything that it asked me to put in. And once I'm done, then uh, I just click OK. And I can also make changes in the sound, but I would leave those uh, on default. Because you might make a big mess by switching all these things around. Just leave the default sound and you should be alright. Now as far as the graphics, you can change it to full screen because if you don't, it'll just stay in this little tiny screen when you play. Like if I uh, open the last game that was open, you'll see it'll just play in this little screen. Uh, if you don't like that, you can hit full screen or go to a different uh, adjustment. Now if you wanted to put a Game Genie code, well then you put the game in like I have, Sonic the Hedgehog, and then you put in the code, type in the code, whatever the code might be, and name it so that you can tell it from other codes, and then add code and OK. And that's pretty much it. There really isn't a whole lot else um, to it. You can also save your game and then load it later, uh, which is a nice feature in case uh, you don't have time to complete your game. You can just play it later. And um, that's about it. Anything else? Pretty self-explanatory on that program. So this was just a emulationcd.com tutorial on the Sega Genesis emulator gens.